All right, and Sayed Shabir was with fans tonight. And how did the pick go over where you are? No. Well, Krista, the excitement is building for Chiefs fans tonight, especially here at the 810 zone where hundreds of fans gathered to watch tonight's draft. We spoke to a few, and they had some really nice things to say about the new addition to the Chiefs lineup. Kansas City Chiefs select Eric Fisher. The crowd of 200 erupted at the announcement of the newest member of the Chiefs family. Eric Fisher, I think, is the best one out there. I think it's great. This is our year. We're going to turn it around. The excitement got started early at the 810 zone, where Chiefs kicker Ryan Suckup met with fans and signed autographs. A couple of Chiefs cheerleaders helped get the party started, and it wouldn't be a Chiefs party without Casey Wolf. Another Arrowhead regular, Arrowman. We got his thoughts on the Chiefs' addition to the offensive line. We've needed uh, help there for years, so uh, you know it's it's what makes you know a running back and a quarterback good is the line. Ryan Heathman was hoping for a different outcome, but was still happy with the pick. I would have liked for them to trade down, trade out of it, but you know this year it was a little different. There wasn't that signature player out there that everybody was trying to gun for. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with the pick. I like Eric Fisher. Go Chiefs, number one. Like every season, Chiefs Nation is getting its hopes up. But this time, it seems they have a little more confidence in the guys in red. I think that the team is starting to take steps in the right direction. Like I said, a new coaching staff. I think we really needed it. Um, new quarterback. And I think that we're just we're starting to build the right way, starting down the right path. And the draft continues with more first round picks and you can see there are still a few diehard fans watching intently. They are very excited with this pick and very excited for the upcoming season. Reporting live in Leewood, Sand Shabir, 41 Action News.